Hi guys, my name is Sweet Kinks. I'm going to be doing your March 2018 readings. As always, if you want to book a personal reading with me, my email address is down below. So email me for further information. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your reading. Hi Pisces. So, let's see. What's the overall... <laughs> overall energy for Pisces for March 2018? I'm going to just use all of them. So I feel like you guys <clears throat> are getting some visits. And when I say visits, I mean like visits from people who have passed, like loved ones, um, friends, family, like just a lot of, uh, what's the best way to put it? Spiritual encounters, like seeing orbs, uh, seeing shadows, all of that uh, kind of thing. But don't fret, because <laughs> right after that, I feel like they're, it's basically your team, your loved ones, your guys coming to you to bring you basically news of, of happiness because you have uh, Shanti. And Shanti says, I am the angel of peace. So I feel like they're coming to you, like you may be scared, right? You may be scared like, what is going on? <laughs> but they're coming to you just to tell you that, you know, you're doing good. Because right after that, you have Akasha. And Akasha says you are a spiritual teacher. So they may be coming to you to say, hey, you know, kudos that you learned your lesson on X, Y, and Z, right? Now we're going to kind of, we're here to protect you even more. The more you, you're willing to learn, the more you're willing to work with us, um, you know, the more guidance that you're going to be able to, to hear, basically. Because when you're listening to your team and you're listening to yourself and doing things for your highest good, that's when you're able to, you know, get the correct messages the right divine messages for you at the time so we have bridget and i feel like this just goes back to uh feeling scared but still wanting to know more because i feel like you guys have been in a situation where there was a lot of like unknown things happening and you wanted to you wanted to gain knowledge on the situation however you weren't you weren't allowed to at the time like basically spirit was withholding uh certain information because they wanted to see if you would progress first before they would uh you know assist you more in certain areas but like i said it's all for the uh for your highest good because it's a karmic cycle and caressa basically says you are at the end of a of a cycle in your life so it goes back to saying um you know finally <laughs> you're listening to whatever it is that you were ignoring before like you are on it now it might have been something traumatic that happened where you you had like no other choice but to learn the lesson like you have no other choice but to do what you are told and you might not even know that you're being told to do things but you notice that it's kind of like out of your character, but it, it basically ties together um, on its own, right? So let's pull a tarot because I feel like that's pretty much it. And at the bottom of the deck, you have a star and the star says, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams, desires, with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. So, you know, not compromising emotional health emotional stability um you know just not compromising yourself for other people because you had to go through that lesson where you ha you were forced to learn a lesson and you were forced to change something about yourself for the for the good i also feel like going back to this i also feel like um Along with visits, it's just like your intuition is like on point. Like, I don't even know. It's 
it's crazy on point where how can I put it it's like you just you just be knowing <laughs> like you just be knowing before something happens and it's like mm, I knew it was gonna happen so I prepared myself for what may happen but I'm also not carrying a grudge also not carrying around hurt yeah you got the star card in reverse so it's like yeah I'm it's okay because I feel like you would say why why would you want the star card in reverse but I feel like it's if you think about it it's like spirit coming down towards you like you're no longer saying help me help me help me help me <laughs> right because they're now coming down to you they're now um communicating with you more clearly because you're open to communicating with them like you're because you're open to healing that just allows for um more uh, divine advice and situations where you feel like you're super powerful like you feel really good about yourself after learning this lesson it came hard and it was strenuous because this is the emperor so the emperor is technically higher than a king right so you own a lot and it's a it's, it's a lot of burden that comes with the ownership but go for it <laughs> it's like you're going for it anyway because you know what it was like to just want and wish and hope and dream but now you're able to put things into action because you learned your lesson and you said never never again <laughs> or that could have been a person or whatever situation like or something that you would do to yourself like say you would always help someone else first before you help yourself it's like never again because you know how it feels when people don't reciprocate they don't they don't give you back that same energy so me shovel because i didn't ask um moving on to love i just lost my train of thought moving on to love this is for couples and for singles Love, 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 abundance. <laughs> so, oh, wow, nice. So you have the angel of abundance, the angel of new romance, and again, um, was it this one? This might have been another spread, but a very spiritual, spiritual card right here. So in terms of couples, right? I feel like couples, you guys are... I don't know. I feel like there's, there's a lot of you that want to leave because you're not getting treated the way you want to be treated. And you're moving towards someone new. This could have been someone that you had waiting, <laughs> you know, someone that was on hold. But now you're like, yeah, I realize that this person I'm with right now is just not treating me the best. Like in terms of mental health, like. Yeah, the, the physical is good, but the mental and the emotional is like a huge disconnect. And I want more. I want more, more and more, right? But for singles, I feel like um, pretty much the same thing. Like for singles, you guys are worried about money, but pouring that uh, love energy into yourself so you're able to create, you're able to kind of oh that there goes the card again you're able to basically connect with yourself more honestly like whatever you were repressing or you felt like you couldn't do when you were in a relationship you're doing it now and you're just like falling in love with life again you know just opening up to those spiritual um connections again let's see what else yeah taking care of yourself yeah so okay let me read well let me show you first but 
Teresa says, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. And when you take care of yourself, you're going to feel like a newborn baby. Like, just so soft. Like, look how she's holding herself. <laughs> soft, warm, and just loving yourself all over again because you basically rediscovered yourself. You went from, like, I hear kind of like morphing into your partner and forgetting that you were this whole like magical person. <laughs> so now you are coming out of that period of just thinking like, oh, I'm not a, a, a whole, a person on my whole, a person on my whole, like I'm not a person on my own, <laughs> but it's me and him or me and her, you know? Now you're more like, oh, it's, I, <laughs> I, me, 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 and not feeling guilty about being selfish, not feeling guilty about being in your emotions. When you think about it, like children, they don't feel, they don't really feel guilty about being in their emotions because they will cry and scream and holler, you know, in a public place and not feel guilty about it. Because that's their emotions at the time. So they're allowing themselves to go through whatever emotion it is that they're feeling at the time. Right? So now you're feeling less guilty about being you. Whether, you know, you're in a relationship or you're not. It's just like, look. If you don't like the fact that I'm taking care of myself and... I'm realizing that my standards are adjusting because of that then there's always someone else <laughs> like I feel like it's 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 a win-win in a way whether you with them or not it's, it is what it is right so you got now cuz right about now right about now right about now you are just like like I said it's me 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 me, me, me. And at the bottom of the deck, you got healing. So, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm taking care of me. I am living in the present moment. Like I said, how children, um, they allow themselves to feel whatever it is that they're feeling at the present moment. And then maybe later that they understand what they did or how this could affect or made, you know, the people around them feel. But at the present moment, it is what it is. And if you're you're feeling like you're not being taken care of, well, this person doesn't take care of me. This person doesn't do this for me. Ask yourself, are you doing it for yourself? Are you even attempting to do it for yourself? But now I feel like you really are taking accountability <clears throat> Like I said, for your healing, you're taking accountability for where you are in life. Whether you're with that person or not. Okay. Bye, Pisces. <laughs>